So, planning a wedding. <laughs> hey friends, glad you're here today. I'm Tay, and today I'm actually going to be talking about the five wedding tips that I would give to every single person, no matter what their personal taste is for their wedding. Let's get into it. I mean, you dream about your wedding day pretty much, at least I did, I dreamed about my wedding day all growing up, what I wanted it to be like, who I wanted to be there, the colors, the dress, the everything. And then when you actually start planning the wedding, it's like the reality sinks in of what weddings have actually become in today's society, and it's a lot. I mean, it doesn't have to be a lot though, that's what we'll get into. So the very first thing that I would do when you start planning your wedding, before you book anything, before you settle on anything, is I want you to make a list of the things that are the most important to you. These can be three things, five things, whatever makes sense for you, but these are the things that you are not going to budge on. These are what you really truly want. For me, it was I wanted to get married outside. I wanted a place that allowed me to do my own food. I didn't want to have to have it catered. And the third thing was I wanted to have a really good photographer. So these were the things that I was not going to budge on. But once you start planning the wedding, you're going to get so caught up in everything that needs done and everybody that has these opinions and everybody wants this and that. And if you have this list of these are the things that I am not budging on, it's a lot easier later down the road to make sure that you don't stray from that. Because I know that there were things at the beginning that I said, there's, I for sure don't want that. And then all of a sudden, you know, six months later, that's what I'm doing. And <laughs> there isn't always a good reason. It's just getting wrapped up into everything. The second thing that I'm going to tell you is actually something that probably doesn't necessarily make sense to you right now, but it's going to be that to spend time with your significant other purposefully, intentionally spend time with them on the day of the wedding. And that is because it everything's just going to be going so fast and you're gonna be making sure that, you know, you have the first dance and then you have the cake and then you eat and you talk to everybody. And, you know, sometimes it can just be such a blur of a day and then at the end of the day you're like, wow, hi, I haven't seen you. And so the best advice that I got before our wedding day was to intentionally spend time together, whether that's, you know, going outside for 10 minutes and just talking or um, whatever it may be, just make sure that you spend intentional time before the end of the night. The third thing is that when you were at the reception, Take time to eat the food that you are paying for. <laughs> Once again, everything is just such a rush and such a blur. And if you don't sit down and make yourself eat, you're just going to get caught up in somebody talking to you or somebody wanting your attention over here and you're gonna be starving. Believe me, you're going to be starving. So please make sure that you eat and preferably eat before the ceremony. I actually skipped lunch and then um, was just absolutely starving right before the ceremony started. And so I really wish that I would have planned um, food better throughout the day. The fourth tip that I'm going to give you is gonna be really hard if you're having a really large wedding, but it's to try to say hi to every single person that comes to your wedding. And I know that I've been to weddings before where it's like you go take, you know, you go, you spend time and then you leave and you didn't say anything to the bride or groom except for bye, congratulations, whatever. I know that um, a lot of people get this done by doing a receiving line, um, which if you want to do it that way, that's fine. We didn't do it that way though. We just went around after we ate our food when everybody else was eating, we just went around to each person's table and we were able to talk to them that way. And it was actually really nice and it was one of my favorite parts of the reception because I just got a chit chat and um, I didn't feel bad because there wasn't a line of people waiting to sit down and so I just liked doing it that way. Now the last and final tip that I'm going to give you is that absolutely no one, no one cares about your wedding as much as you do. I know there were so many things that I got all wrapped up in and that I just had to have or I had to do. And 
nobody cared. <laughs> literally nobody besides me cared most people didn't notice if there was something and there's probably going to be something if there's something that goes wrong on the day of people don't know how it was supposed to be in the first place so they're not gonna notice if something doesn't work out just scrap it and it's fine I know that one thing that happened at our wedding is that I had um an outdoor ceremony so I was walking and it was super windy that day and originally I was going to have a curtain at the back of the ceremony site and that is what was going to hide me until like my reveal when I came into the came into the aisle well it was so windy that my curtain wouldn't stay up it kept blowing over so last minute we went and got a golf umbrella out of my parents car this huge polka dot umbrella and my dad actually just carried it in front of me and hid me until we got to the end of the aisle and then he dropped the umbrella and we went down and it actually i like thinking about it now the pictures are funny and it still had the same effect and literally everyone thought that that is what we originally planned to do and it it was fine i was distraught when that curtain kept blowing over and it didn't matter it didn't matter at all and so just keep that in mind that you care way more than anybody else does and if somebody else cares more than you then that's kind of a, a different issue <laughs> that you should probably um, get taken care of but so i'm not going to go into any tips that our personal preference because there's so much of your wedding that is just so personal to you something that I care about is not gonna be something that you care about my sister's actually getting married in a week and so it's just all sorts of crazy right now and just like she really cared about having real flowers I couldn't care less about flowers I got my bouquet at Hobby Lobby and it just is what it is I didn't care about that however there's things that I really cared about that she just doesn't and so anything else that I would have to offer would be all opinion based so these are just my five tips to every single person getting married that you can apply no matter what your um, what the theme of your wedding or the personal choices that you make about your wedding are um, these five things should apply so I'll see you next time thanks for watching <music>